Hi everyone, today is Vader Day 27. I am really, really tired today after last night. I didn't get done editing and exporting till like half three in the morning, so I'm pretty tired. Um, worth it though, it was a really great night. Today was kind of at a loss of what I wanted to do because it's just never as interesting as when I'm going out and doing stuff. My friend Nettie was like, hey, why don't you tell people how much you love Fallout Boy? They might not know that. She said they know, but why don't you go into more detail? I was like, I think that maybe we've talked Fallout Boy to death over on my channel. But then I was thinking about it and I was thinking about last night and it being the 10 year anniversary show of Say It Like You Mean It. And I was thinking about the fact that these albums that are now 10 years old are the ones that got me into this kind of music and the ones pretty much that shaped me, I'd say. So I decided that I wanted to talk about the albums that have shaped me the most and that mean the most to me and that have like made me who I am. So I ended up picking six albums. I tried to do five, I ended up with six. They're just ones that kind of stand out to me as ones that I've listened to a lot or ones that I can remember buying or, or things like that that I have stories with. And yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about those. So the first album that I have is Blink 182's Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. This is a special album to me because the song on here, Rock Show, is I think like the first rock song that I ever heard and sort of got me into all of that. It was on um, like a now whatever number album. It was in the middle of this album and I remember hearing it in the car for the first time when I put this album on and my dad was in the car with me and obviously they swear halfway through the song and I was like 11 at the time and I remember listening to it and being like oh god like I shouldn't be listening to this and I really liked it for some reason and I just I would always listen to this one song on this CD over and over and then eventually went out and bought the album and I mean, that was the same thing in the car when like they they swear or whatever. That's kind of the album then that got me into all this kind of music and it's got some funny stories like that with it. So that one means a lot to me. I'm not a huge Blink-182 fan anymore, but they will always be the band that got me into this kind of music. So I will always hold a special place for them and especially that album. The second album that I've got here is the Atari's So Long Astoria. I picked this album because it, it's not really any particular reason, I just know that I used to listen to it a lot. And In This Diary is a song that just means the world to me. One that just kind of reminds me of friendship and fun times and stuff like that. Especially because I know it's not the same Astoria, but the Astoria in London when it got tore down and everyone's like, so long Astoria. So that kind of links in with that for me, which also means a lot. That venue was a really great venue. This is a whole other vlog if I start talking about this venue, but we had some good times there. Just kind of like reminds me of being younger and of good times. Again, it's not something that has stuck with me so much, I don't listen to them anymore, but it's one that I'll always think of, so that's why that's in there. Album number three is Yellow Card's Ocean Avenue. Ocean Avenue is just a proper like summer pop punk album, and I love every single song on here. I listen to the whole thing, I haven't listened to it in so long. Really love this album. Way Away is such a good song. I'm thinking about it now, I'm looking at the track list. Way Away is such a good song, and Ocean Avenue, obviously. We went to see Yellow Card uh, a year or two ago at Bush Hall, and they played an acoustic show. You know when you go see that and like it just properly brings back memories of when you were younger. Like I'm getting so nostalgic thinking about all these albums. I didn't know any of my friends and I wouldn't know any of them without it. But before I knew them I would just sit and listen to these albums and like the songs would be the things to comfort me rather than my friends that I have now because of the songs. Album number four is Something Corporate Leaving Through the Window. I love Something Corporate. I never got to see Something Corporate when they were together and they're not banned anymore. I remember seeing the Punk Rock Princess video on Kerrang! when I was watching TV one day and I absolutely loved it. I remember then sending my dad out to go and buy the CD and he was like, who's it by? And I said, something corporate. And he went, yeah, but who? And I was like, something corporate. And he said, like, you can't just tell me something corporate. You have to tell me the whole name. And I was like, no, dad, that is their name. Their name is something corporate. I think it has a scratch because it skips on Little, I believe it is. On track 15, Little, it skips on that every time. I've obviously listened to it that much. Cabin Park and I Woke Up In A Car are songs that like I will listen to and just sort of, I guess, relate to, but they just mean a lot to me still, like this entire album does, more than the other three that I've just mentioned. I don't know how, I don't know how to explain it. This is a really stupid video to do because sometimes I get so overwhelmed about things and how much I love them. I can't. I can't tell you, but I really, really love this album. Album number five is New Found Glory, Sticks and Stones. I feel like New Found Glory are one of the more legit bands that I listen to and are still a legit band. They'll always just be one of the first. I think they were there with like Blink-182 
who were the first, but they were right there with them. You can see all this peeling off and everything. That's how long I've had it. It's all scratched ever. I used to take this on the bus with my Walkman and listen to it on the bus on the way to school. So that, that's been a long time. Finally, album number six. This is an obvious one. It's Fall Out Boys, Take This To Your Grave. So I'm gonna go into a bit more detail, like Nettie told me to. I first heard Fall Out Boy on a Kerrang! CD. It was Dead and Arrival that was on the Kerrang! CD. And I literally listened to this track over and over on repeat for like a week straight until my parents are like do you not want to listen to another song and i was like yeah let's listen to another song let's go and get the album listen to it all summer long we went on holiday to portugal and i literally had it on repeat the whole time i can't <laughs> i i don't know how to explain how much this band means to me i really don't with them it was the whole experience that you got with it as well with like pete and his journal entries and all the drama that came with everything like it was it was the f like first i guess fandom that i got into i found my friends that way on the internet and then met them at shows i think it's being a part of something it was the first thing that i really got to be a part of and this album is what made it happen this is signed i got it signed at a meet and greet that i went to because i was an overcast kid i was in their fan club my favorite album and obviously tattooed on my arm so be with me I will take it to my grave that's not even funny I feel really weird now I feel old I feel weird that I was like 12 years old when I started listening to some of these albums it's been such a big part of my life and everything that's come from it since I wouldn't be who I am today where I am today I wouldn't know the people I know today without those albums so that's it those are the six albums that i found that i think have shaped me the most if you want to do a video response to this and tell me the albums or songs or bands or whatever that have made you who you are today or leave it below in the comments if you want to do that i really like knowing what other people are into and, and like the experiences they've had from it and how it's made them who they are i like knowing stuff like that so tell me that's it for today sorry i got really emotional about albums and probably rambled a bit and didn't make much sense um and i'm gonna go before i ramble some more about loving things because that's what i tend to do a lot so i'll see you tomorrow bye